Today, I have a pretty quick one for you guys because I've already done Elijah Craig so many times on this channel, but before this one leaves the shelves, I wanted to tell you about the ECBP C922. Let's get into it. Everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary. Today I want to talk to you about the ECBP Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C922. Now this is the last release of their Elijah Craig Barrel Proof in 2022, which it's already early 2023, so what am I doing? Well, honestly not prioritizing very well. <laughs> so I've had this one on the shelf for a couple of months. I don't get things over here in Massachusetts as quickly as some of the like Kentucky YouTube channels, so I'm almost always going to have these things last, but they are still something that I have a very hard time not buying the second that I see it, and I'm happy I bought this one. As you can tell, uh, I only opened this about a week ago, and it's taken a bit of a bit of damage, <laughs> but we'll talk about that in just a sec. So let's go over some of the metrics of this bottle. First release in September of 2022, this 124.8 proof, 62.4% ABV whiskey is 12 years old and has a mash bill of 78% corn, 12% malted barley, and 10% rye and retails for around $60 to $70 depending on your location. As a quick reminder, Heaven Hill Distillery is the ones who make Elijah Craig. Now, Heaven Hill is based out of Louisville, Kentucky. Now, actually, time out. What do you guys call it? Do you call it Louisville or do you call it Louisville? Because I've known two people from Kentucky that have pronounced it Louisville, but I've also known other people from Kentucky that call it Louisville. So I have no idea what to call it, but I'd like to call it the right thing. Let me know in the comments, do you call it Louisville or Louisville? So let me know. Anyway. So Elijah Craig was a Baptist preacher who is potentially given the credit for the idea of charring barrels, although most sources will tell you that story has no merit. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean it's false, just means there's no proof. But either way, the story is that there was an accidental fire, some of his whiskey barrels got charred, and he ended up putting his whiskey in it anyway, and then really liked the way that the charring changed the flavor of the whiskey. It makes sense, and kind of honestly, it strikes me as very believable, but either way, um, some people also think that, you know, he was storing his whiskey in X sugar barrels that had been charred and kind of the same thing just was like, oh, that tastes really good. Either way, the whiskey does taste really good. So I'm happy something happened. <laughs> but speaking of the taste, let's go ahead and get into the nosing and the tasting. All right. So I've been smelling this thing the whole time I've been talking and it's just wonderful. I need to stop leaving the glass like right under my nose because it's very distracting sometimes. All right. Let's go ahead and have a nose of this. Oh boy, sweetness really is the the word of the day with this whiskey. It It is just like brown sugar really hard off the nose. There's oak there for sure, but it's almost like a toasted, it's almost like a toasted caramelized sugar. So it kind of makes a lot of sense here. It's very, very good smelling. Um, there's a little bit of rye spice in there. Caramel, so again, kind of that, that sugar, toasted sugar. Um, there's vanilla, this is just, Everything that makes a bourbon, right? This smells like bourbon in every possible good way. It is a little high ABV, but it doesn't, it, like you can breathe this in and it's not really gonna burn you too much, or at least doesn't me. All right, let's go ahead and have a taste. Cheers, everybody. Oh, it's so good. Man, I know I said it earlier, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, absolutely fills the hole in my heart that was Booker's. Ever since I discovered ECBP, I really have not had much of a desire to go back to Booker's knowing that it's easily 10 to $20 more than this bottle. And I just, I want, I love that. I think it's great. Good job. Sorry, I'm like salivating just drinking this. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the taste here because there's some things that stick out right away and I'll take another taste and we'll dive a little deeper. So right away, this tastes like bourbon. I know that that's silly to say, but let's just define what that means. It tastes like oak, caramel, vanilla, and maybe a little bit of like a butterscotch, but I'm gonna go cinnamon in this one. There's the heat from the ABV mixed with some of the other kind of spices and spicy notes in there from the oak tastes like cinnamon. And that's, that's what, at least for me, when I say something tastes like cinnamon, it's usually a combination of oak and ABV. And that is where that flavor comes from. Okay, let's see what else we can pick out of here. So I'm pretty sure I said brown sugar, but let's just make sure of that. So brown sugar. Um, you know what this reminds me of actually a little bit, like obviously Demerara sugar is made from kind of like a brown sugar. I don't know, is Demerara sugar different than brown sugar? I don't know. I bought a big thing of it. It says Demerara, but it looks like brown sugar. It's not granulated. It's like, like 
big salt flakes almost, but sugar. Anyway, tastes like that. <laughs> if you make a simple syrup out of Demerara sugar, it tastes like that. Um, it is getting heavier and heavier on the oak, and some of the rye flavors are coming out as this sits on my palate. And the more that you kind of do this, so I, I've been trying to make a, a point of trying to teach you guys a little bit more as I do this, but as you breathe in and out over that whiskey, it will change flavor. And that's something that you should be doing as you're trying to taste. So make sure you breathe in after it's already gone from your mouth, you swallowed it, and it's just kind of sitting on your tongue, and you're gonna get some more stuff. In this case, you're getting the rye that is typically covered by that sweetness. So um, I'm very excited to drink the rest of this. However, let's kind of go into the overall here. Now, obviously I like this whiskey, so let's just get that out of the way. However, I wouldn't say I'm like an ECBP fanboy because I'm not buying every single expression that comes out. I'm typically only buying them like maybe once a year, maybe twice. But in this case, I, I wanted to get this one because I had heard good things about it already by the time I bought it, because some people get this stuff real early. And I just love every drop of this. I had it on stream a few nights ago for the first time. It was delicious. Um, in this, actually, I ended up adding it to a blend and it overpowered the rest of the blend to the point where it covered up some of the damage from some of the worst whiskeys in there. But anyway, this is absolutely worth your money. Um, you can find this for about 60 to $70. Uh, definitely better at that lower price. $70 is approaching where I also still think this is worth it, but it hurts a little bit more to buy that, right? $60 for this whiskey is a perfect price in my mind. And this absolutely gets my rating of buy it. Now, I'm curious what you all think about this too. So I asked you in the comments of my, my YouTube channel, so 19% of you said to stock it, 16% said to buy it, 12% said to try it, 4% said to ignore it, which I'm very curious as to why you would say that. So if anybody did say that, let me know in the comments down below why you would ignore ECVP. Like, is it just not your thing? Do you prefer scotch? What's the deal? And then there was another 49% who had never had it. So in this case, like I said, this gets a rating of buy it, buy it all day long. Um, I hate to say this out loud just because it's kind of against the concept of the channel, but... I think ECBP is going to always be a sure buy. You are rarely going to get one that's not great. Their quality control is fantastic. They don't put out a product that they are not going to enjoy. And I can only think of one that wasn't good in the last like four or five years. So that's a great track record. Anyway, buy this whiskey, enjoy it, and have a great rest of your day. Cheers.